Ah, the late 2000s to early 2010s. An interesting yet horrifying time period where clicks were among us, whether it be Twilight, skateboarding, BMX, the gothic stage. I'm going to shove gauges in my ear and make this hole in my ear as wide as possible. And bullying, and bullying was, was at its, at its peak. peak. People, People would, would call, call you anything, you anything just, just to get, to get under, under your, your skin. skin. But there was one word that dominated the bullying space. Poser. The best and worst insult that no one wanted to be called in the late 2000s to early 2010s. To the year where the most popular stores were Hot Topic, Zoomies, CCS, and even Dance Comp. And flash photos in the mirror were drop dead sexy and made every girl want you. It was the word that hurt the most. Today we're going to take a dive into why this was the most insulting word from the late 2000s to early 2010s. Now if you do enjoy this video, please consider hitting that thumbs up button and subscribe button as it does help my channel immensely. A poser. I know you haven't heard that word in a while and you're probably saying to yourself, hmm, I have never been called that in my entire life. Well I know you're lying, you just have to refresh your memory bank because you probably haven't heard that insult in a long time. So let's head to the Urban Dictionary. A poser. A wannabe. Simple as that. You can't skate. You're such a poser. That used to be the go-to insult in the late 2000s to early 2010s. And if you're like me, and we all lived the same childhood, which we normally do in some way, shape, or form, you went from skateboarding to BMX, because that's what was trending. It was a period where Robin Big had a huge influence on the youth, and we all wanted to visit the Fantasy Factory. My friends and I fell into this disgusting hole in the late 2000s to early 2010s. I grew out my hair like Justin Bieber, barely washed it, and watched Disney Channel before I fell asleep and got ready for school the next morning. And in school, the only thing I cared about was having a rogue status shirt which would definitely be banned nowadays, or the freshest and chunkiest, I repeat, chunkiest DCs in the entire school. And like I said, since we all lived the same childhood, in some way, shape, or form, I know the one word you hated being called the most, and that is a poser. Because you weren't a poser. You knew how to skate. You knew how to kickflip. You knew how to ride that bike. Foot jam tail whip? I could do that. Do these mile high Supras not tell you that I could do every trick in the skateboarding index? I took a picture with Ryan Sheckler and it has 40 likes. Sure, it's pixelated, but you know it's him, so that clearly means I can skate. My parents just spent $400 on a brand new bike to support my stage. I'm nowhere close to a poser. I feel like the reason why this word hurts so much is because if people ever called on, you'd have mounds of people coming at your throat saying that you were a poser and a hoax. And if people found out that you were indeed, which by the way, you were indeed a poser, you were the laughing stock of the entire school. Because if people made fun of you, it would take away the attention from them being a poser as well. The word that turned every girl away from liking that flash mirror photo. Because if you were a poser, you were nothing. There were also other words that floated around during this time period that I'm not going to say, but you all know what they are. But just something about this word poser hurt extremely bad. I'm five years away from 30, and this word was in the mainstream pretty much 10 plus years ago. And to be honest, I hope it never sees the light of day again because it sure has the power to make a grown man cry. Oh.